Hello, thanks for tuning in to Kalkine TV yet again. Sage here, and this is the Hot Performers, a show where we take a look at the stocks and sectors that could be heating up. And today we have ASX listed company American Rare Earths under the spotlight. So let's get started. Geologically, Australia is a resource-rich economy, having an abundance of resources such as iron ore, nickel, zinc, uranium, gold and more. It's no surprise that Aussie mining companies are the cornerstone of the Australian economy, contributing more than 8% to the country's GDP. It also has an abundance of scandium, which is one of the rare earth elements, but none of them are currently being mined. Although it is not a rare element commercially viable, pure scandium producing mines are not common. One company that is striving to make its presence felt in the rare earth space and has already zoomed over 2.5 times this year is American Rare Earths. So in today's episode, we're going to look at how well American Rare Earths Limited is faring in the market and what its prospects are. Let's take a look at the stock now. American Rare Earths has become one of the hottest stocks of 2022. It's been 20 days into 2022 and its shares have already become one of the best performers on the Australian bourse. The stock has more than doubled in the last five trading sessions alone. All thanks to its near vertical rally. And as of the 20th of January 2022, American Rare Earths shares have skyrocketed to deliver a staggering year-to-date return of approximately 160.61% to the last traded price of 43 cents Australian. The massive rally has also been supported by a sudden buying interest as denoted by volume spikes on the chart. The price gain and volume spikes have been so erratic that the ASX has also sent a price and volume query to the company to seek any information that could possibly explain this price action. Well, let's glance at American Rare Earths' business side of things. American Rare Earths is a New South Wales-based exploration company which has a focus on rare earths, especially in the United States. And after the acquisition of the La Paz Scandium and Rare Earths project, in August of 2019, it became the first ASX-listed explorer with exposure to the US rare earths market. La Paz Scandium is a bulk deposit containing high-value light rare earths and very low penalty elements such as radioactive uranium and thorium. So what's driving this buying frenzy for American Rare Earths? Well, in the first week of 2022, the company announced the appointment of Sten Gustafson as the non-executive director. And Gustafson has a rich experience of over 25 years and has advised on over 100 corporate transactions around the world for over... 100 billion US dollars of transaction values. Investors were cheerful after the announcement and the same day American Rare Earth stock closed approximately 3% up at $0.175. In mid-December 2021, investors also flocked to the company's shares after it announced that it had received exploration permits to undertake ground disturbing activities at La Paz in Arizona and at Halleck Creek in Wyoming, USA. This was one major step towards starting drilling activities at these two key rare earth projects, with both the funds and permits secured to commence drilling activities at projects in Arizona and Wyoming. Investors have become extremely bullish on the company's future. So to wrap up the show, Currently, American Rare Earths is focusing on the development of the La Paz Scandium and Rare Earth project in Arizona, and these projects have the potential to be the largest rare earths projects in North America. In its quest to meet the U.S. demand for the rare earths, the company has expanded its portfolio to include the Laramie Rare Earths project in Wyoming. And hopefully you have found this information useful. But that is all for now. We'll be back again, and I can't wait to bring you the next episode of the exclusive Hop Fours stock show, probably on Monday. Until then, keep watching Calkine TV for the latest market updates and related insights. Sage here, signing off for now.